find the events feature underneath the social tab or by searching through view all. Once you've added the events into your app, you have the option of changing the page name as well as the icon. As far as content, you can choose from adding an eventful event from Eventbrite, from Facebook, from Fans in Town, from Google, as well as adding a custom event. We'll be working on adding a custom event today. Under the custom event tab, you can choose the name of your event, for example, a conference for your business, and then you can head on over to the event dashboard. On the event dashboard, you can see the events, the general settings, how to manage your bookings, and how to manage your reviews. And under the event, you can go ahead and add a category by clicking on default. Begin by inputting your category name, for example, conferences for all our conferences in our business. And then input your settings, and when you're ready, hit save. You always have the option of adding multiple categories for your multiple events, including, for example, parties. Once you've finalized your categories, you can enter subcategories. Enter the subcategory name and decide on the settings for your category. And then you can also choose a thumbnail as well. Select event under your subcategory to add an event. Choose your event name Enter a genre. You can add these more in the general settings, which we'll discuss later. And then you can add a description to your event. And you can describe your event with more than one tag. For example, you can add your host and then enter who the hosts are, add your descriptors, and then also add the language the event's gonna be in, for example. And under media, you can add the images or a YouTube URL for your event. And then under the venue link, you can add the type of venue, the dates, the times that it occurs, the type of ticket, the number of tickets, as well as the price. New row allows you to enter an event at a different time and enabling this allows your prices not to be shown on the event listing. Enter your term conditions and save. Once you're back on the dashboard, you can return to your different categories and subcategories. And once you're satisfied with all your changes, you're all set because everything's already saved into your app. Next to events are your general settings. Under configuration settings, you can enter an email address for your users to send any questions or inquiries about the event. You can also turn on the different functionalities according to your app's requirements. Click on payment settings and select the currency code. You can use the PayPal Express method and to enable enter a PayPal ID. You can also use a credit card via Stripe Payment Gateway by entering the live publishable key and a live secret key. To generate both keys, refer to the tutorial. Under Manage Options, you can add more genres of events. For example, you can do a movie showing or perhaps a party for your business. You can also add the type of ticket classes. For example, you can add a VIP ticket for a party and then hit save when you're ready. Now click on language settings and manage your language settings here and save them. Then you can click on the rules out of the discounts, attacks, and miscellaneous tax. Select the discount tax and click on add new discount, enter the total amount, select the rule, enter the price and the rate. And you can also edit, delete, or change the status. And then you can also do these for all the other tax rules. Select the coupons to add a new coupon. Here you can add the name of the coupon, the coupon code, the date of issue, the expiration date, the discount type, the name of the discount, and the status of if the coupon's active or inactive. And then you have your terms and conditions and your privacy policy. Enter those for your page and you're all set. Next to the general settings is the manage bookings tab. Here you can search for bookings by booking ID, event title, and the customer's email as well as from the date and status. Then you can click on the search button. Below you can search for the booking date, the event name, and the event date. When you click on any one of the tabs, they'll change your color. Next, click on Manage Reviews, and you'll perform the same steps as the Manage Bookings. And you're all set.